Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Video Game Pickups. I've got a very nice few bits to show you today, a few nice eBay pickups. Um, one of them I bidded on and I won it. Shockingly I actually won a nice lot. <laughs> As I, I bid on so many lots and sometimes I don't even win them. Uh, but this one I really wanted to win so I put a very strong bid of £80 max bid on it I think. I think it was 80 or 85 but I was for free posters, so it made the difference. As I saw the site and usually goes for a bit more online, but I wanted it because this variation doesn't pop up very often, and especially over here. Um, and I finally got it for seventy pound shipped straight to my house. Um, so very nice. It is a nice Zelda DS um, Phantom Hourglass Edition. As you see up top. In very good condition to box. I took everything out. I'm going to show you in a minute. There we go. That's how you close it. But very nice condition. It's a bit ripped up the top though. That's the only ma major issue. Last time I saw this box, and that was for I think in the USA. Um, the box alone goes for about I think 70. Yeah, 70. I think it was 32 plus 48 postage. Ooh. <laughs> Um, so that's very nice, and here's what's inside it. It's not in the greatest condition, it's not bad until I can find an upgraded version. There you go, nice DS box inside the box, but you see this box has seen better days, been crunched and bunched out of it, but not bad for 70 quid. Now we're going to look at what's inside it. They bubble wrapped it very well. I knew this game didn't come with the original Phantom Mario Gloss, I can get it for $9.99 anytime I want online. But, here it is. Seen better days though, mind you. And that is a Zelda Triforce Edition, um, 3D, I mean DS, <laughs> DS Lite. It all works properly and everything. As you see, it's in very good condition. On the screen anyway. The back though has seen a bit better days, it's been, I think, it's been a bit chewed on. on the, I think, where is it? I don't think you can see it, but there you go. It's a bit, been a bit, a bit chewed on, but the console alone is about 50 just by itself. So I thought £70 for it is very, very cheap. That was the, my most favourite find that I've had for a while, and I'll be keeping it for, for how long ever I have it. Um, and now we're going to go on to an odd and sods pickup. Oh, no, spares and repairs a lot. Yeah, yeah, again to show you guys. I think I paid, I think it was 52. Um, and I will t show you an item what actually works. Shockingly, out of this, there's seven items to show you. One of them works. So it wasn't completely weird. So I can get my money back from mainly one item. First was this. It's got a screen um, issue. I'm probably looking at 19.99 to 24.99. That's a nice 2DS a red and white edition. I recently started working working one for 40 quid. Okay, so that's very nice. The next is a couple of DS lights that all say their faults on the back. This one has a uh, not turned on issue. I'll probably get 5 or 10 for that on auction. Um, a DSi, not turning on, but if I can get it to turn on, maybe a tenner. This one has a problem with, yeah, the screen not reading the games properly. So maybe £20, £30 if I can get it to work. The next is a, a DS Lite Blue original. So not bad condition, but it does, what does it say? Problem with the power with it. I think it maybe needs a new battery. So maybe I'll swap out with the, one of my spare ones that doesn't put the good battery in this one. So maybe. Are they always use the spares and repairs together from other lots to make good lots, etc. etc. And that's is an original Game Boy, but it does not turn on. I've tried everything, it's not turning on. I'm going to try to open it up a bit more and see what's the problem with the motherboard. So, 
Hopefully I can fix that. Either way, I always get 20 to 30 quid for these all day long. Last one I sold, I think, for 26 quid. And that was broken. I always sell broken ones for that price. Someone gets to buy them. But the main item that I was so happy with, I was shocked when it actually turned on. And that is a very clean Game Boy Advance. I mean, original Game Boy. <laughs> it's missing its back cover, but I've got plenty of spare or back covers at, at the moment. And Magic. It actually works. So I can easily get £40 for that. I'm practically the other lot for 12 quid. So very, very cheap. I was, I'm very happy about that though. I didn't know it was going to work at all. Because all these were listed as 40. Sometimes they work. Lately I've been on the run. That like one out of every seven consoles actually work. So very happy about that. Hope you enjoyed this little pickup. Slash biggish pickup. <laughs> Um, thanks for watching, remember to like, comment, subscribe, thanks for watching guys.